here at Title Gardens, and I have a person with me that is an integral part of what happens on in this facility. She is Than's right-hand woman. She does a lot here. Uh, this is Becca Tyler. So uh, Becca, tell me a little bit about what you do with Title Gardens. So I am the media executive here at Title Gardens. So I do everything from uh, photography, videography, and also graphic design. Um, I probably take around a thousand photos here a week, uh, along with filming video for our YouTube channel, oh. as, uh, editing YouTube videos, and being in YouTube videos. So uh, I'm constantly doing a bunch of different things at once. I started here as an intern. I went to the University of Akron. I was a media studies major with a minor in photography. And I was uh, good friends with the guy who runs all the internships for my major. And he was just like, hey, do you want a paid internship at a coral farm? And I'm like, say less. <laughs> yes. Yes. So, so um, I started here. I knew nothing about coral whatsoever. Started not knowing anything about coral. And now you are a coral photographing expert. Idol Gardens, obviously an online uh, retail for live corals, uh, e-commerce platform. The importance of having the pictures of these corals be perfect and actually depict the corals like they look like when you see them in the tank is paramount. Uh, that being said, you take a lot of pictures. How many pictures have you taken since you've been working here? Oh, jeez. Um, I think uh, one year worth of photos is probably around like I think my Lightroom catalog gets to like 20,000 images, maybe. Um, and then, that is, that is a lot. <laughs> and so, I've been here for three years, so probably around like 60 to 80,000 photos. Wow. Yeah. Wow, you're a rock star. <laughs> I, I try, I really try my best. <laughs> yep. Explain the process of how you photograph these corals and kind of uh, fill us in on what are some of the challenges that you that you experience doing uh, photography for a large amount of corals at one time, etc. On our platform, we have um, actinic shots and we also have uh, daylight shots, which not a lot of sites do, just to show. Super important. Yes. Because people may expect one thing and then and when then they, they get it, they look different under different lighting. And then they get disappointed and then we get that call and it's not a call that we really want to get. So that's why we do want to go through the process of not only photographing that actinic lighting, but also the daylight. And with all of our uh, actinic shots, I do try to shoot with an orange filter. You're using a filter as help, yes. but then you're editing the photos to make the photo look like what you see with your eyes in the aquarium. Exactly. Pretty much. Yeah, exactly. I'm just, it's just a helping hand. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys uh, take the corals to specific aquariums for photographing all the time. Do you guys sometimes photograph in the main tanks here in the showroom? So for a lot of our stock and uh, what you see is what you get items that we do have on our website, uh, we do have specific photography tanks that have black backgrounds that I can shoot against. And that way it kind of helps um, not only with lighting, because there's not a lot of light bouncing around off of these black backgrounds that could really make the corals look kind of weird. Um, but it, I also go in uh, when I'm editing and black out the backgrounds myself. So it kind of adds a helping hand there. But when we do um, bigger shoots for that require me to shoot 1300 corals over the course of like a few days, um, they're in big racks and I'm just shooting uh, underwater, just like one after the other. And it's just uh, very basic editing. Are you using uh, submersible cameras? Are you going in the water? Are you shooting through glass? Uh, with all of our stock images, I'm shooting through glass uh, just so I can I can have it on a tripod. It's a little bit easier to alter different things when I'm out of the water. When I have to do um, these bulk photo shoots, it's all underwater so I can just go click, 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 right. click, over and over. Yeah. I film a lot of the B-roll for our videos. I edit a lot of our videos and sometimes I'm even in a lot of the videos. <laughs> so uh, I'm kind of doing a whole, a little bit of everything. So uh, filming is kind of hard through a lot of these tanks, uh, but we have a lot of different equipment to help us out. And we also, we use, we use cin cinema cameras and that's what really makes our videos so unique and memorable throughout uh, this hobby on YouTube. So Becca, big question. I know Than's very particular about Every detail, everything has to be perfect. So I'm sure he's the same way with his videos. Has he ever asked you to snorkel one of the tanks to get that perfect shot of that one Coralite that has the you know the best color? You know, if the camera wasn't worth more than me, probably, he probably would. But <laughs> given that fact, I don't think we would run away at risk it. It's not worth it. <laughs> awesome. Oh, look, Rashid's coming in. Hey, brother, come here. 
Dude. Echo, what's going on? So listen, I have had to dive in the tank and uh, uh -huh. yeah, had no choice. Does. But listen, <laughs> I know I know you know that you have a huge fan club. It's hard to believe sometimes. Some people have been said, we want more Becca. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know if they got upset about that. But I got just a couple quick questions. From a creative standpoint, environment Thanos created, does that help you in your job? Oh, absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Calm atmosphere really kind of helps with um, the day to day. The day to day, getting yeah. through the day today. <laughs> so I have the massage chair, and I also have the opportunity now that I have a reef aquarium here right. that if I'm tired of looking at a computer screen all day, I can go down, I can just like scrub my tank a little bit, kind of let my mind go blank. Well, that's amazing because Andrew's the same way. He's all about investing in people. So, I mean, actually, believe it or not, I'm not sure if you know this, but when uh, Andrew and I wanted to start a Polo Reef as a company and not just the person who has a huge tank in his house, and the first person I was like, we have to talk to this guy was then. Mm. So we got on a Zoom session with them because I really wanted to mimic what we created in terms of the small niche team, mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, the, you know, we're in line from an educational standpoint, getting education out to people. We don't have a massage chair yet. Maybe we'll work on that. We're adding that to the, to the action items list. We will. <laughs> the coffee machine. The coffee machine. And the ice cream in the, the coffee. ice cream machine along with the coffee machine. It's that does it for me. I really shouldn't have many of those. So Becca, thank you so much. I mean, we've had an amazing time here. We're super impressed with what you guys do. And obviously we're collaborating on a lot of things. So. Just thank you for your time. Seriously. Thank you, Becky. Absolutely. It's amazing. And by the way, Rashid, let me tell you. What's that? Yesterday when we were filming, yeah. the side door swung open in the wind and out of the corner I of my it. eye, I saw Becca it. has run to that door and it's caught it before it made noise <laughs> so it wouldn't mess up the audio. So I am affectionately going to call you the title ninja yeah. now moving forward. Dedication. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. Thank you.